this gang are now at the level of the Italian and the Mexican and the Russian mafia, are there questions to be asked as to how a street gang from Dublin have been allowed to get to this level? Are there questions to be asked of the authorities here? John Morrissey arrested for allegedly laundering 170 million pounds for the Canaan cartel. John Morrissey, a former doorman from Rochdale and an Irish passport holder, was arrested on the Costa del Sol as a key member of the Canaan cartel. The arrest was made after a raid on Morrissey's home where he was caught topless. The arrest came as a result of the allegations that Morrissey had laundered a massive sum of 170 million pounds in just 18 months. Footage from the Spanish Civil Guard showed Morrissey being detained at his home. As previously mentioned, Morrissey was a key member of the notorious Canaan cartel and his arrest is a significant development on the ongoing efforts to combat organized crime in the region. The Spanish Civil Guard's officers carried out a comprehensive search operation in connection with John Morrissey's arrest. The officers were filmed counting and confiscating large amounts of cash using counting machines. They also searched multiple vehicles and a separate address believed to be associated with the movement of money and drugs, which were allegedly hidden in secret compartments. The police claim that with Morrissey's arrest, they have successfully dismantled one of the most significant and international criminal organizations organizing in Spain. It is believed that the organization laundered an estimated 300,000 pounds daily. Morrissey's wife, who is also the CEO of Nero Drinks, a vodka company based in Glasgow, was also arrested and is said to have been using the company as a front for the gang. However, she was released after a court appearance the next day. Spanish detectives have uncovered a unique method of money laundering used by the criminal organization led by Johnny Morrissey. According to their investigations, the organization had not physically moved the cash out of Spain, but instead used a traditional and informal money transfer system called Hawala. This ancient method of transferring money, which originated from the Arabic term for transfer or trust, involves a network of brokers and operations based on a trust and a code system. The criminals used code numbers or tokens, such as torn banknotes, to prove the transfer of funds. This discovery highlights the sophistication and innovation of criminal organizations and the challenges faced by law enforcement in combating their activities. The use of Hawala by organized crime is not new, but the Spanish detectives believed this to be the first significant case in which it has been used on such a large scale in Spain. The Spanish Civil Guard has arrested several key members of John Morrissey's criminal organization, including two associates who were detained in Spain and one in the United Kingdom. The method of money laundering used by the organization is a widely used system in the Middle East, known as Hawala, which allows payments to be transferred through a network of trusted agents who operate outside of the formal banking system, thus leaving no paper trail. This system makes it more difficult for law enforcement to track the flow of money and to prosecute those involved. The Civil Guard has stated that the operation called Tube Whitewall was a significant success as it resulted in the dismantling of the most important international or criminal organization dedicated to money laundering that operates in Spain. The spokesperson for the Civil Guard emphasized that the operation was a major achievement in the ongoing efforts to combat organized crime and to protect the financial integrity of the country. John Morrissey, who had been identified by the United States authorities as a key member of the Canaan organized crime gang, was arrested on suspicion of money laundering at his home in Costa del Sol. In just over a year and a half, it is believed that Morrissey's organization could have laundered an astonishing £173 million through the use of the traditional Middle Eastern money transfer system known as Hawala. The rest of Morsi and his associates, including his wife, was carried out by the Spanish Civil Guard as part of their operation to dismantle organized crime in the region. The women were pictured in handcuffs after their detention, while Morsi tried to conceal his face. Morsi's wife, Nicola, was seen raising her finger to photographers as she was being led away by the authorities. 
The arrest is a major development in the ongoing efforts to combat organized crime and ensure the financial integrity of the country. On Monday, a major police operation took place resulting in the arrest of several key criminal members of John Morrissey's criminal organization. The operation was a collaborative effort between the Spanish Civil Guard, Britain's National Crime Agency, Europol, and the DEA Drug Enforcement Agency. It was carried out by the Civil Guard's Elite Central Operative Unit, which is responsible for investigating and prosecuting the most serious forms of crime and organized crime. The operation was the accumulation of a lengthy probe by the Civil Guard and demonstrates the commitment of law enforcement agencies to work together to tackle organized crime and to protect the public. The joint effort of those agencies sends a strong message that organized crime will not be tolerated and those who engage in such activities will be held accountable for their actions. The involvement of the DEA in Monday's police operation as a result in a chaotic and intense situation. According to a detective involved in the case, the Spanish police investigation began with a significant seizure at the start of last year. This included the confiscation of 200 kilograms of cocaine and 500,000 euros in cash, which were hidden in vehicles equipped with advanced concealment systems. As a result of this operation, several key members of the criminal organization, including a former custodial-based Irish expatriate, were arrested in Spain and the UK. One of the individuals arrested was also operating a second car dealership. These arrests had a significant impact on the criminal organization, disrupting their operations and sending a clear message that such criminal activities will not be tolerated. On Monday, a coordinated effort was made by multiple law enforcement agencies to carry out nearly a dozen searches of residential and business premises in Spain and Britain. These searches took place in several locations, including Glasgow, where two premises thought to be related to the company Nero Drinks were searched in Haywood and Rochdale. Although Johnny Morrissey was not named in the Spanish police statement regarding the operation, it is believed that he was the main target of the operation in Spain. The Civil Guard stated that the target in Spain was focused on collecting large amounts of cash from criminal organizations operating in the country. The execution of these searches demonstrates the commitment of law enforcement agencies to bring individuals involved in criminal activities to justice and disrupt their operations. According to investigators, during the course of the investigation, it has been revealed that Johnny Morrissey, a key member of the Canaan cartel, allegedly managed to transfer more than 200 million euros. The Spanish Civil Guard also outlined the alleged role of Nero Drinks, a luxury vodka brand, in the criminal organization's operations. The Civil Guard stated that the principal members of the organization in Spain used the brand as a front to promote parties and events at nightclubs and restaurants in the Costa del Sol, presenting it as a successful drinks brand. However, in reality, it was used to further the illegal activities of the organization, and these allegations demonstrate the lengths that criminal organizations will go in order to launder their ill-gotten gains and conceal their illicit activities. Contrary to appearances, the sources of income and funding for the individuals who were arrested in this operation were not derived from legitimate means. According to the information from tax authorities, their luxurious lifestyle was actually funded by illegal activities. Furthermore, the individuals in question allegedly created another company in the United Kingdom, which was dependent on yet another company based in Gibraltar. The primary goal of these firms was to conceal the true identity of the directors and to use them as a means to launder the money that was transferred through Hawala, the informal money transfer system that is widely used by criminal organizations. This highlights the sophistication and cunning of these criminal organizations as they continually devise new ways to hide their activities and evade law enforcement. Johnny Morrissey was a notorious member of the Canaan cartel and was among the seven individuals targeted with sanctions by the U.S. Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets control in April of the previous year. According to the U.S. authorities, Morrissey was associated with another high-profile member of the cartel, Daniel Canaan.